Buildings are such big, complex things. Looking at them just leaves me wondering what must go into making that. It's hard enough getting a team together to decide on a colour palette for the office. As you can expect, this mammoth task is split up into many smaller tasks, which are all massive in their own right. And those are split up again into smaller ones and again and again and again. One of those tasks is safety, which is split up into building safety, which can then be split up into fire building safety, which then goes down into pacifier protection. Now, while this page is all about pacifier protection, today I want to stay on the level above as we dive into how exactly do we make building safe. Building fire safety can be split into three elements, which together make a building fire strategy. There's pacifier protection measures, as well as active protection measures, and then finally the planning and management of fire safety. This strategy is what shapes the safety throughout the building's construction and operation. It considers the building's type and purpose, so if it's a hospital, a block of flats, some offices. It also considers the occupancy level, the size of the building, the height, as well as a bunch of different other factors. Active fire protection measures are those that need to be activated, so things Think fire alarm, emergency lighting, sprinklers, fire extinguishers, things that go off when they sense a fire, or if you manually do it like this person down here. While pacifier protection refers to the systems that are baked into the fundamentals of the building, and they generally require no form of power or activation. Things like cavity barriers, fire doors, fire protected ductwork or dampers, loads of different types of pacifier protection products. And finally, the fire safety management will look at the evacuation plans, signage, the safety drills, the location of the fire extinguishers, the fire risk assessments and all of that fun stuff and all of that is just the first step in how we protect the building and now we know all of that we get a better sense of how 